the, uh, the thing to understand about this particular rope is that it's a hollow braid polypropylene rope that's woven in a zigzag pattern and open on the end so that you can open it up and put the uh, new rope down inside it and it, as you tighten the rope, it tightens up on there like the old uh, Chinese finger trap, Chinese handcuff toy. Um, and so the splice is simply to stuff one end of the rope down inside the other part of the rope and uh, the pull on it keeps it tight. We uh, generally use three feet of rope inside the other rope. It's uh, never failed us yet. There are those who use less, but why use less, you know? A little bit more. So we use uh, 200 foot ropes. They can shorten down to 180 foot just fine. Beyond that, it gets a little more uncomfortable. The damage to the rope that needs repair is usually pretty close to the end. So that's what we're gonna show a repair. This particular end is for the tow plane. Uh, it's got dual rings, so we use it at the contest. One for Schweitzer tow hooks and one for Coast tow hooks, because different tow planes have different attachments and this speeds things up. We're going to pretend, prepare, uh, pretend that this is the glider end, because that's where the damage usually occurs. And so I'm going to take this apart, show you how it goes, and then we'll put it back together. So the first step is to get rid of the tape. So I'm going to pull this out. I've cut the tape off. And I'm going to take this out. And you can see it comes out very easily. If I pull on it, it won't come out. Because that's the rope tightening up. So, we we'll take this out, we we'll take these rings off, we'll take the vinyl protector off, which protects the rope from being abraded by the rings, and now we've got the bare rope. What I'm going to do, instead of cutting out a section, because it's a good rope, fine, I'm just going to cut off this tapered end and uh, simulate what we do from there. So, so the fid goes on the rope, and these are actually um, hollow knitting needles that I've cut with a uh, copper tubing cutter. And it sort of forms a little rolled in inside, which holds the rope very nicely without having to bother to tape, because the plastic fids you have to tape. All right, so the next thing you would do if you're making a glider in is the tennis ball with a hole in it and you put that through there and pull like so. But we're not going to do this because this is the toe plane end. So the next step is to get it back through its vinyl protector. There's a bit of uh, aircraft safety wire and a bent over in so we feed it through here and the trick here is to straighten and flatten this bend and now we can feed it through like so and we take the rope and we put it in here and wrap it around the coils I'm going to do one other little trick. Okay. I'm going to put it into here. And with any luck at all, this will pull right on through. Now we've got our protector on. And the general rule is three feet. So from my fingertip to my nose is a bit less than three feet, but I'll cheat a little. Okay. So now we put our fit back on. Just twist that up and stuff all the strands in that we can. Okay, so we take our rings 
the Schreitzer ring, of course. The toast ring, be careful. The small ring goes on the glider or the hitch. The big ring goes on the rope. Do it backwards, it won't work. <laughs> All right, so pull this through here. We bend this over, and then we find a place to enter the rope. Doesn't matter exactly where, but as close to the end of the vinyl tubing as we can. And now we just slide it and gently do this. We don't get violent and we don't get impatient. We just keep going gently, gently. Alright, we're there. Now, the final touch, we feed it out. Through there. Pull the fit off. And then we taper it so we don't have any sudden major changes in cross section. The way we do that is we pick up a couple strands with the fit. Pull them up. And we cut them off with the knife. Like that. And then we do a couple more a little farther down the line here. Like that. Now we go here and we smooth all this back down and voila. We have a tapered fitting. Now, the next trick. If this vinyl is allowed to separate, it'll pull unevenly on here and it will pull that out. So we must not allow this to separate. So we take our piece of tree torn gorilla tape and we tape the daylights out of it. Gorilla tape is like duct tape on steroids. And then I'm going to put another piece, taper it down. And this stuff tears fine, but you can't be uh, delicate about it. You have to do brute force. So this one, I wrap. down here, and I reinforce it with another one, and there we are, back in business, with a nice taper, no, no sudden changes in cross-section rope. That's about all there is to it. To build a new rope, you would do the same thing on both ends, except you put the ball in a single toast ring on the other end. And of course, with brand new half-inch ID vinyl tubing, you don't need the wire trick. Okay, that's it.